Hello, I'm Paul Cardall. I was born with the leading cause of infant-related deaths, congenital heart disease. I was only born with half a heart, and yet I survived countless medical procedures. You're about to hear some powerful stories by families of a few of my friends that never survived. I don't know why I got this miracle, but they deserved one too. Thousands of children born with congenital heart disease deserve a miracle. I'm confident that as you listen, you'll be prompted in some way to do something about this. We need your help. My name is Janae Smedley. My daughter was Jane Smedley. She was uh, born with uh, AV canal, which is atrioventricular canal. She was a day old, and he basically could not figure out what was going on with her heart. And that was frustrating because we were talking to the professionals, but they were they were struggling to know what was what was going on. She ended up having six open heart surgeries over a course of her life. It was determined within a very, very short time that he had a severe congenital heart defect, that he would have to have surgery immediately if he was to survive. Well, the first time we heard about transplant, it was, of course, exciting to us, but they delayed it because of the anatomy of her heart. The word transplant scared me. It obviously helps so many people live longer. That's what we want for those that we love. They had waited so long to talk about a transplant that her other organs were failing. They'd waited too long. She started that heart transplant process. Um, she got all the way to the all the way to the very end. Um, she had one more doctor to see, and it was for the for her lungs. And that was a deciding factor that took her out. All of the anti rejection and the difficulties and more doctors visits and more pain. If they could make it something that we didn't have to be so scared of. When they point blank say that the, the organs have got to go to a qualified person because we have so few. We don't want to waste it on you. And that's pretty hard for a dad to sit and uh, watch his little girl shut down. The things have changed so dramatically during the, uh, the, the decades that these kids are all surviving, they're living, and in many cases they're thriving. And yet, uh, medical science and the, and the organizations are not giving them the, uh, the attention that they need. There are vibrant children who need a chance. The medical community, the uh, government agencies responsible, uh, the insurance industry, all of these organizations need to realize that these kids' lives are being saved and they are now becoming adults. This is not an anomaly, this is a reality. There isn't enough education about organ donation. There isn't enough awareness. There isn't enough being talked about. There's so much more we can do.